This question shows us a graph and it asks us to perform various transformations of that graph. On the original graph, we are given the point here P, which is negative 3, 0, it's a local maximum, and we're given the point here Q, which is 2, negative 4, which is a local minimum, or they're both stationary points. We're asked to sketch two functions for three marks each. On each new diagram, show the coordinates of any stationary point. So we have to track where P and Q go. Let's do part A. Now, firstly, with this one here, let's just make it slightly bigger. Um, we need to know what um, 3 f of x plus 2 means. Now, the 3 is outside the brackets and the 2 is inside the brackets. Okay, Anything outside the brackets does what you think it should. So you're multiplying by 3, so you're stretching in the y direction by a factor of 3. Anything inside the brackets does the opposite to what you think. You're adding 2, so you're shifting actually to the left by 2, um, by 2 units. Okay, and the order in which you do these does not matter because one's inside, one's outside. So, let's draw ourselves a graph and let's track where these points go. Now, this point here is going to be multiplied up, the y number is going to be multiplied up by um, 3, but it's the y number is 0, so 0 multiplied by 3 is still 0, so it stays there. It's also going to be shifted 2 to the left, so it's going to be moved to negative 5, 0. So the, the point now will be negative 5, 0. Now where does this point go? It gets shifted 2 to the left, uh, so, so, so firstly sorry, it gets multiplied by 3, so it goes down to negative 12, and it gets shifted 2 to the left, so it will be 0, negative 12. So somewhere here, um, it will be 0, negative 12, and it keeps its shape uh, like that. So it would look something like this. Remember the minimums at that point here, it would look something like that. One mark for the shape, which stays about the same. Second mark for stating where P goes, and third mark stating where Q goes. And you must state that on there, you can't just leave it for the examiner to uh, work out, you put the coordinates on yourself. Okay, next one, modulus graph. We are taking the modulus of this function. That means everywhere where this function goes negative, so wherever f is negative, and by f I mean as well y is negative, the same thing, wherever f is negative, make it positive. Okay, so really, here, uh, it's positive, so it's absolutely fine. The y number's positive, so there's no problem at all. Here's the first time where it goes negative. Well, all you do is you take the same value, but you make it positive. So it will just reflect up, get its maximum there, come down here for this point here, and then drive up, up, up there. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let's actually draw this on a sketch ourselves. So here's our axes. Where it was positive is absolutely fine, no problem. Then when it gets negative, we'll just reflect it up, make it positive. As follows, comes back down here for a minimum and then shoots off up there. Must label these points. This has now been reflected. The Y number's been made positive. So this is clearly two positive four. And this here, well, is exactly where it was before. Um, the y number is 0, so that has no sign, so it's negative 3, 0, exactly as before. So you have one mark for the shape, second mark for this point, and third mark for this point, and that's it.